Hi everyone. In this session, we will discuss about free space management. Free space management. Actually, the files are responsible. The file is responsible for. Yeah, the file system is responsible to allocate the free blocks. Okay. So therefore, it has to keep track of all the available free blocks. Okay. Right. So here mainly there are two approaches. Okay, to uh, to identify the free blocks in the disk, they are nothing but one is through bitmap or bit vector, bitmap or bit vector. Second one is linked list. Okay, so we will see this. So coming to the bitmap, bitmap or bit vector, it is represented with zeros and ones, right? So here it is represented with the two values. They are nothing but zero and one. So zero indicates that the block is already allocated. Okay, one indicates that the block is free, right? So let us suppose this is the yeah this is the disk. Inside the disk we have and uh, let us suppose we have sixteen blocks. Let us suppose we have sixteen blocks. So in order to identify which block is filled, which block is empty, so that is represented with bits zero and one. The zero, the bit zero and bit one is used to represent. Whether a disk is empty or it is filled with some other information, okay. Whether the bit, whether the disk is, whether the block is uh, free or not, okay. If a block is free, it is represented with one. One indicates see here. One indicates free block. Zero indicates that the block that the block is allocated, okay. If you see this example, so a bitmap of 16 bits is represented like this. The first four bits are represented with zeros, means it is allocated. Okay, it is allocated. See, the first four four blocks: block one, block two, block three, block four. They are already filled. Okay, so the next three bits they are free. So see here, four. I mean five, six, seven. These three are free. Again, the remaining bits. Okay, six bits are. Filled. Okay, they are already allocated. See, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bits are allocated. These six are allocated. Okay, next we have two free blocks. Fourteen, fifteen free uh, free blocks. Again, sixteen is block sixteen is allocated. So like this. So inside the disk, which block is allocated and which block is free, that will be represented by using two. Values they are nothing but uh, with zero and one. That's why it was named uh, under bit vector or bit map. Okay, so this is something about bit map or bit vector. Okay, hope you have understood. Next we have linked list. You know, you know what is linked list? Linked list is nothing but if we have if we have two nodes. Okay, we will use a pointer to address the Next node. Let us suppose this is node one, node two. Let us suppose here we will have data, and here we will have the address of next node. Here also the same. We will have data, and we will have the address of next node. Address of next node. Data. So if suppose if this is the last node, we represent it with null value, right? So like that. Here we will have. We will point out to. The block which is empty, okay, right. So see this approach links together all the free blocks. All the free blocks will be linked together by using a pointer. Okay, a pointer points to the. Suppose if the first block, let us suppose this is block one. If block one is empty, okay, then it will points to another block which is empty, and from there it will point out another block which is empty. We will see that with an example. See here. If you see here, so uh, free list is headed. See, free list is headed with the block five. Okay. So from block five it is pointed to block six. From block six it is pointed to block seven because block seven, five, six, seven are empty. After seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, all these are already filled. They are assigned. Okay, so next block fourteen is empty. So from seven block fourteen, from block fourteen to block fifteen. See here, all the 
empty empty blocks were pointed okay they were linked together by using a pointer okay so this is uh, this is what happens this is what happens in the linked list okay so with this we will end up the topic okay thank you